statements are a loop statements okay so when we use uh, these loop statements okay so iterative statements are used when we want to repeat a set of statements a set of statements for a specific number of times specific uh, number of uh, times okay then we use these uh, iterative statements okay so iterative statements are used when we want to repeat a set of statements in a program now in a conditional statements what you are you are jumping from one part to another part of the program okay but uh, sometimes you need a, a set of statements have to be repeated for specific number of times say for example five times i want to repeat or 10 times i want to repeat these uh, uh, four statements five statements okay so in such case we use these uh, iterative statements clear okay so what are the iterative statements uh, provided uh, available in a uh, c iterative statements or loops available in c r okay so we have three statements available in a uh, c language first one is while statement or while loop you can also call it as okay so then second one is do while statement then third one is for statement or for loop you, you can also call it as for loop okay so these are the three iterative statements available in a c language while statement do while statement and for statement okay so here while is a keyword do is a keyword and while is a keyword here then for is a keyword so you have to always write them in a lower case uh, letters okay so these three statements uh, are used to perform repeatedly a repeated execution of a, a set of statements okay so we'll start uh, uh, discussing uh, from uh, using while loop okay so while statement the general form of a while statement first we'll discuss then all the features we'll discuss afterwards okay so the general form of while statement is okay so it begins uh, with the keyword called as a while okay and uh, within the parenthesis you give the condition okay so if the condition is true then it enters this while uh, block we call it as okay so then statement uh, you can incorporate uh, any number of statements here okay so it executes statement one statement uh, two okay or like this you can write a uh, n number of uh, statements there statement n okay so then close now this is the general form of a while statement okay so it begins with the the condition while uh, it begins with keyword uh, while and within the parenthesis you give the condition so what it will do first it checks the condition if the condition is true then it enters this a uh, while loop okay so then it executes all the statement present uh, within this loop once it reaches end of this statement end of this a uh, while loop okay so control automatically from here goes back to this a uh, condition part here okay so again it comes to condition here then checks the condition again if it is true again 
again it enters this while loop and executes these uh, all the statements inside the loop again okay so then once it reaches end of the statement again control comes back to condition part again if it is true again it ex executes this uh, statements inside the loop okay so like this it goes on executing these statements repeatedly executes these statements inside the while loop as long as the condition is true as long as the condition is true it goes on executing these uh, statements inside this uh, loop okay once the condition becomes false then automatically the control comes out from the loop and goes to the next statement okay so that means the loop ends there and uh, if there are any statements here okay after the loop those statements are uh, executed okay this is how the while statement uh, is executed clear okay so there are some important points to be noted here so while is uh, called a uh, entry controlled loop we call it as a uh, entry controlled loop okay because during the uh, entrance itself it uh, controls whether the loop has to be executed or not okay so that means in the entrance this is uh, the loop to be executed okay so to enter this loop okay first uh, it tests the condition that's why it is called entry control okay so in the entry itself it uh, checks the condition if the condition is false for the first time then it won't come to this uh, loop okay so directly the loop is terminated and goes to the next statement after the loop okay so this is called the end of the loop this is called the beginning of the loop okay so the loop ends here then control comes to the next statement here okay so if there are any statements here then these statements are uh, executed here understood entry control loop means if the condition is true then it enters the loop and executes all the statement again goes back to condition checks the condition true again executes the statement okay so like this the set of statements are uh, repeated clear and please remember there should not be any semicolon after the condition here okay so while condition and then there should not be any semicolon here then begin the loop here and uh, write all the statement then end the loop here this is the syntax of a while loop okay so you can give a simple example for this while loop just take an example say i declare a variable something like you say int a is equals to 0 okay so then just i can use a loop to repeat a set of statements just i want to print the value of a okay so print f a while okay so a less than 5 okay i'm using a condition a less than 5 okay so then i'll say print f a is equals to percentage d comma a okay so i'm just printing the a value okay so afterwards then i'm incrementing the a value here and you have to write a statement here when you use loops you should be very careful you should be very careful that after some point of time the condition should become false in such a way you have to design your uh, loop otherwise if there is no such statement what happens your program falls into infinite loop that means your program goes on executing this loop only okay it never ends uh, then you won't uh, come out from the program okay that is called infinite loop and uh, your program uh, goes into infinite loop never ending that becomes a never ending uh, program okay so you have to abruptly uh, you have to terminate your program in such case okay so we'll see how to write a loop or terminating condition how to design loop terminating condition here in this example okay so i have declared a variable a and initially i'm storing a value zero in this okay so then control comes here while a less than five okay so i'll take a small uh, number here three i'll take here 
okay so a less than 3 zero less than 3 true okay so then it uh, enters this loop then executes the printf statement so on the screen you can see a is equals to what is the current value of a zero okay so a is equal to zero printed on the screen okay so then it comes to a plus plus a plus plus a value will be incremented so then a value now will become a one okay so i am just uh, writing a uh, uh, a values here so a is equal to initially zero is there okay so now a value will become a one now a value will become one now okay so end of the loop reached here so control automatically goes back to the condition here okay so again it tests the condition a less than 3 what is the current value of a a is now 1 1 less than 3 yes true so again enters the loop okay so it enters the loop then this printf statement is executed here so on the screen you can see a is equals to printed okay so a is equals to what is the current value of a one printed on the screen okay so then it comes to the next statement a plus plus a becomes now 2 previously it was 1 now a will become now 2 okay so end of the loop reaches control automatically goes back to condition here okay so again test the condition a less than 3 what is a value now 2 2 less than 3 yes true so then enters the loop again so print f so again it prints uh, this a value here okay so you can see a value printed on the screen in this form okay so you can see a is equals to 2 printed on the screen okay so then comes to the next statement a plus plus a becomes now 3 a becomes now 3 then end of the loop reaches control goes back now test the condition a less than 3 3 less than 3 now condition false okay so then this loop is terminated here okay so that means this loop ends here then controller comes here control comes to the statement if there are any statements uh, in your program after this loop then it executes these statements okay so this is how the set of statement see here you have written printf only once but the loop is printing a value repeatedly a is equal to 0 a is equal to 1 a is equal to 2 like this repeatedly it is executing this and uh, printing until the condition becomes a uh, false okay so this is simple example of a while statement here okay right so now you can take a, a simple program where you can use a loop statement okay so best example for this is testing whether a number is prime number or not testing whether a number is prime number or not okay so we'll write a program here just take the program program to test whether the given number is prime or not given number is prime or not okay so how to start the program include the header file then begin the main here okay so open the main okay so you have to read a number okay so that's why i'm declaring a variable called as a num okay so prime number program if you remember how do we test whether a number is prime or not that means if it is divisible by 1 and itself then we'll say it is a prime number so 1 and itself means how many factors it will have only two factors sir it will have okay so that means if you go on divide the number from 1 to that number it is divisible two times okay so if it is divisible only two times then we'll say it is a prime number otherwise it is not a prime number okay so for that to count how many times it is divisible we declare a, a variable i'm declaring a variable just uh, to count the uh, number of times it is divisible okay so initially i said count is equals to zero okay Sim similarly i need a loop uh, control variable okay so i am declaring okay so whatever variables we required we go on adding uh, uh, afterwards now first uh, ask the user to enter a number say enter a 
number now read the number he entered some number okay five four four three two like that so that number i am reading using percentage b and store in the variable called as a num okay so now num is your number where you want to test whether it is a prime number or a not whether it is prime number or a not okay so what you have to do you have to go on divide this with a one to that number okay so that means you have to start off from one onward so initially you take another that number is already anyhow available in a num okay right so here what i do is i have to go on go on divide okay so repeatedly i have to divide the number so when there is a repeated action we we'll use a, a loop there okay so while i less than or equal to num starting from 1 to that number i go on divide the number okay so you can test whether the number is divisible or not okay so you have to test the condition there you have to use if statement okay so if num mod i remainder if you take then you will come to know if num mod i is equals to 0 okay so that means if this number is divisible by i okay so then this mod operator returns the remainder if that remainder is equal to 0 then we'll say that it is divisible okay so if that is divisible then i'll say that means one time it is divisible okay so i count i say count plus plus count plus plus okay so i am just going on counting how many times it is divisible okay so now just see here what happens we'll see here how this uh, loop counts how many times it is uh, divisible this is the loop to count how many times it is divisible from 1 to that number okay say for example enter a number okay so enter a number i entered a number called as a 3 i entered okay so say for example num is equal to 3 i entered okay then initially count value is count value you have stored as a 0 then i value you have stored as a 1 okay so you have to keep track of the values of these variables when the loop is executing okay right now i entered the number 3 now i want to test whether 3 is a prime number or not okay so first what i am doing i am dividing uh, the 3 from 1 to 3 1 2 and 3 with all these numbers i divide okay so for that i have written this loop okay so how this loop uh, uh, divides and counts how many times it is divisible just see here okay now it comes here while okay so first test the condition i less than or equal to num what is i value 1 1 less than 3 yes true so then enters the loop now it checks whether it is divisible so 3 mod 1 is equal to 0 Three mod one is equal to zero. That means three is divisible with one. Yes. So count plus plus. Now this it is divisible. One time it is divided. Okay. So I am incrementing count value. So count is one now. Okay. So with one, it checked whether it is divisible or not. Then I have to generate the next number. So how I can generate the next number? Where is the first number in i? So just uh, by saying i plus plus, then you can generate a the next number so now i value becomes a 2 here i value becomes a 2 here then end of the loop is reached here okay so then control again goes back to this uh, while statement okay so then check the condition 2 less than num 2 less than 3 yes true okay so now this loop checks whether 3 is divisible with a 2 or a not okay so again it comes to this if statement if 3 mod 2 is equal to 0 3 mod 2 that means 3 is divisible with 2 is equal to 0 no false okay when this condition is false see here simple if statement i am using here if this condition is false then this statement is not executed okay so that means it won't execute this statement automatically control comes to the next statement i plus plus here that means with 2 3 is not divisible okay so nothing is happened here so then automatically control comes to i plus plus i value becomes a 3 here It goes to the next number okay so then end of the loop reach here so then goes back to condition part here 3 less than or equal to 3 yes true so again it checks whether 
it is divisible with a 3 or not okay so num 3 mod 3 is equal to 0 yes 3 is divisible with 3 okay so then count plus plus that means it is another time divided okay so then, then count value will become now 2 okay so then automatically the next statement is i plus plus i becomes now 4 i becomes now 4 okay so end of the loop reach here and uh, control goes to the condition part 4 less than 3 false 4 less than 3 false then the control comes out from this uh, while loop okay so this loop is only to divide the number from 1 to that number and count how many times it is divisible how many times it is uh, divisible now after coming out from the loop now you have to decide whether the number is prime number or not how will decide by using this uh, count value if the count value is 2 will say that it is a prime number if the count value is more than 2 that means if it is uh, not 2 you can say that it is not a prime number okay so that test you have to perform here so to perform any test we use if statement here okay so i say if count is equals to 2 if count value is equals to 2 i can say just say that printf the given number is given number is prime otherwise if it is not 2 that means it is divisible more than uh, two times okay so when more than two times it is divisible you can just uh, print it is not a prime number okay so just uh, copy and uh, paste this here and uh, you can say that the given number is not prime that's it okay so then finally you say return zero then close your main program. that's it okay so this is simple program to test whether a number is prime number or a not okay so in this we are using a while loop here Okay, please remember when there is a repeated uh, kind of operation to be performed, in such case you have to use a loop statement. Okay, so that you have to design your solution. When you design your solution mathematically or manually, okay, then you have to understand, okay, is there any repeated action performed? Okay, so in such case to convert that mathematical into program, you have to understand okay in this place i have to use a while loop that's how uh, you will come to know where i have to use a while statement where i have to use a if statement where i have to use simple if where i have to use if else statement just see here if i here i use a simple if statement okay here i use if else statement because two actions i have to perform for true one action for false condition i have to perform another action there you have to use if else statement Okay. Any doubts? You can just uh, take the screenshot of this. We can even design a, a multiplication table. If you enter uh, a number, Okay, so if the user enters some number, then you have to display a multiplication table. For example, I entered the number 3, then table 3 has to be displayed on the screen. Okay, so such kind of programs, if you practice, then you will get hands and practice on uh, this while uh, loop statement. Clear? Okay, so we'll stop here and uh, do while and uh, for statements, we'll discuss tomorrow. And if you have any doubts, quickly, I will take up uh, doubts for two to three minutes. We have another three minutes of time. We dedicate for uh, doubts. Just to drop some messages. Or if you have unmute facility, unmute it and uh, 